Okay, picking up where we left off on box one of my 45s. Uh, starting off with a cheap trick, non-album cut from the movie Up the Creek, the theme song. On the A side, it had this, the regular version of the song. And on the B side, it has a cappella intro version. Which is slightly different, but not tremendously. But uh, it's interesting that they gave you two versions of the same song on the 45. And the next up is another cheap trick non-album song done for another movie, Spring Break. Uh, you can see I spent a whopping dollar on this one. It's also a promotion, not for uh, resale. The last one said demonstration, not for, for sale. So I don't really know the story there. It looks like one side of this is stereo and the other side is mono. Uh, they'd like to do that on a lot of 45s as well, giving you a mono version on one side and a stereo version on the other. But they were typically done doing that by the time we got up to the date that, that came out, so that one's kind of interesting given the time period. Um, moving on, got the Doobie Brothers, O Black Water. It's a really great song of theirs, I always loved. And the B side to that was Song to See You Through. And you'll see later on, we'll come across some too, where I've got two, three, four versions of this, a 45 that has a different B-side. That's, that's always interesting to see when I, when I find a 45 or something. I'm always flipping it over to see what that B-side is, because it's not always the same. Um, I've read where sometimes they'd have a different B-side on the East Coast or the West Coast. Uh, I've seen that done with Queen in particular. But uh, it's always interesting to see what's on that other side. Uh, just when I needed you most. This was, uh, you know, Randy Van Warner. I'm assuming he's a one-hit wonder. I know this song well, but I couldn't tell you another song he did. And the B-side of that isn't something that rings a bell for me. You were light. 1979. We're going back a few years there. Uh, Oh, next up from this box, all right, we've got Stevie Ray Vaughan, Superstition. This would have been from Live Alive, because as far as I know, he never did a studio version of that. It definitely wasn't on one of his studio albums, but it was on Live Alive, that's for sure. So, um, and yes, that is the Stevie Wonder song that you know, and then Willie the Wimp. That was uh, also another cover song. That he did on Live Alive. Uh, I love Stevie Ray Vaughan. Really, really miss Stevie. He was a, a great artist, a great person. Really sad day when we lost him. And I've got another one of his here for us to look at. House is a rockin'. So don't bother knocking. <laughs> and the B side of that, oh, tightrope. So we'd have to look at the. Uh, catalog numbers again to actually see which one was B side and A side because uh, tightrope oh, houses are rocking is the A side it says it here and tightrope was the B so, but both of those are great songs you'll notice too that that one had a barcode on it this is, uh, well, I got two copies of the same one, but this is a, a good example of what we're talking about here. here you've got the House is a Rockin', which would have been your A side. And on the B side, it's Taxman, which was another non album B side. Ended up on his uh, Greatest Hits Volume 2, I believe it was, was the first time we, we got to hear this on a CD. Label's pretty pretty bad shape, but as I told you, I'm not a serious collector. I do it for fun. Pick them up as I go. And uh, it's always interesting when you see the ones with the barcodes on them because they were definitely near the end of the life for 45s. Um, here we are, okay. We've got our first Beatles one here. Day Tripper. The Beatles. Great song. Recorded in England. Imagine that. 
<laughs> but it's on capital here too, not apple. So we can work it out with Beatles. Which one was the A side on that? It looks like, uh, let's see, we've got 378 there and 377 there. So we can work it out, I assume, was the A side and A triple was the B side. Alright, next up on Epic, we've got Alice Cooper, which again, this was uh, not on one of his albums. It did end up on one of his greatest hits compilations, but uh, probably because it was from Iron Eagle 2, a motion picture soundtrack. So it didn't end up on one of his regular albums. And this one's uh, another one of those. It's got the same song on both sides. And both sides are stereo with the exact same time. So this is just a one song cut. I've even seen it sometimes where the B side is completely blank. And, and even to the point of being completely flat. Not even having the uh, the ridge that you usually see on them here. Like this ridge here. This completely flat. We'll run across one of those sooner or later. Because I've got more than one of them in my collection. Dire Straits, Sultans of Swing, one of their best songs in my opinion. Definitely one of their better early songs. And the B side of that, Southbound Again. Very cool. Moving on. Let's see what we got here. Oh, not one of my favorite artists, <laughs> Rod Stewart. Don't know how the guy ever made a living. But, this was a good song, Tonight's the Night. The next one in the box here I see is another Rod Stewart, which is another one of his good songs. He did have some good songs. I know he's got a lot of great fans. I'm just not one of them. Um, but I did like that song. I did like a couple of his songs. Just was never a real big fan of his voice. Wasn't a big fan of the faces because of him. Um, I don't love Jeff Beck, but uh, I wish he would have picked up with somebody better than Rod Stewart. <laughs> <laughs> and I know there's going to be Rod Stewart fans out there that ain't going to appreciate my comments. You know, we all like things and we all dislike things. And that's just what makes the world go round. And uh, here we got Hot Legs, which is probably one of my favorite Rod Stewart songs. I love you, honey. <laughs> yeah. And on the B side of that, You're Insane, which song doesn't come to mind. I don't know it that well. Um, did we look at the B-side of uh, Tonight's Night? Because on this copy, it's full for you. But I don't remember if we looked at that or not, so I want to make sure we covered that. I get on a roll here and get to yakking and get to looking at things. And I'm more focused on trying to swap them out here for you than to, to keep track of which side I did and didn't show. Goodbye Stranger, one of my favorite Super Net Tramp songs. Love this song, love this song, love the band. Um, they were another one like Sticks. Didn't have a whole lot of awesome albums, but they had some really awesome songs. And uh, even in the quietest moments, yeah, that's a good two for one there. Uh, that was from two different albums. Um, Goodbye Stranger was from Breakfast in America. and. Even in the quietest moments was from even in the quietest moments. So another thing I noticed that Sticks did, who was also on A and M, like Super Tramp there. So maybe that was an A and M thing where they like to pull the B side off of another album, probably trying to generate additional sales. Um, here we got a Fleetwood Mac on Reprise Records, Rhiannon. Will you ever learn Stevie Nicks song? Uh, I really like this song too. It's a great song. Fleetwood Mac was a great band and then we got a Christy McVie song on the B side of that one Sugar Daddy and uh, well, I'm assuming it's the B side let's check the numbers out here one three four five five two and two nine so it looks like Sugar Daddy was actually the A side on that when it originally came out uh, kind of hard to imagine because Rihanna is certainly a better song in my opinion than Sugar Daddy so, we're pushing the 10-minute mark here, so we're going to end it with a Roy Orbison. 
Only the Lonely. It's a good song. I liked Roy. He was alright. He did some good stuff. Uptown. Don't know that song, but I do do know the Only the Lonely one. And so that's uh, the end of part two for box one. We'll be back with part three.